Hey guys, it's the music vlogger. Man, it's been a while. First order of business is just to give you guys a quick 30 second update because it's been a while and I have to explain. It's my senior year, my last semester at college, assuming I pass all my classes this semester. And I've been looking for a job pretty hard, so I've been pursuing like five or six different avenues. Um, job wise uh, one of the places ended up actually paying for me to travel down over a weekend in interview that contributes to part of the reason that I haven't made videos in a bit the other part is that this last weekend I did a major project <laughs> I recorded a live album with like five or six different musicians. I've only finished mixing one of the songs at this point because it takes a little bit and I had to retrack a couple things. I'll play just a snippet for you right now. A train wreck. One of the videos I'm going to make in this upcoming week is an analysis of how I made this song and just kind of the production tips and tools that I used. So we recorded five songs. My headphone sponsors sent like 20 pairs of headphones over and it was it was just a blessing um, in so many ways to have people who are willing to do this with me and to have a company that was willing to sponsor me because if I had to pay for those headphones, that would have been $600. Um, and so, thank you, first of all, I wanna to say to my headphone sponsors. Third thing that's kinda of coupled with that is I built a pedal board. Really, it was just a good excuse to build this thing. Um, the rationale for this pedal board is that it's both a studio pedal board and a live pedal board. And the reason that it is both is because, as you guys know, I do a bunch of recording work, but as you guys don't know, I actually play live quite a bit over the weekends on Sundays. And so at the bottom left of this pedal board, you'll see this massive unit. And the whole point of this unit is that it's capable of controlling several of the other units on the board and making it where instead of doing this, you can just do this. For this live album, it definitely paid off because I was able to program different sounds and then have my other guitar players just tap right through verse ones here, pre-chorus here, choruses here. Now aside from that, aside from that, I want to make a video and I'm going to make tons of videos about this pedal board. But for now, I just want to make a song using this pedal board.
Alrighty, here we go. Let's record some electric guitar. Alright, here she is. That's it for this video guys thanks for watching um, one last thing I just want to show you is that I rearranged um, the way my studio is laid out so you enter in and there's the desk and couch um, so I changed that up too I just wanted to update you guys on everything because it's been a few uh, weeks or months time kind of flies but yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace Also, please vote up here for what video you want to see next. I'm going to give you a few options. Just go ahead and vote.